Well, yeah, I met some of you last time we were here. I'm uh, Dan Bauer. I'm the chief of uh, CHP for Southern Division, which is LA County. So there, are, there are eight of us chiefs statewide that cover the whole state, and mine is right here in LA. So I'm your chief. So, so we had the a meeting uh, with the commissioner, Commissioner Joe Farrell, what, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, actually, to the day. And uh, it was a lengthy meeting. We covered a lot of ground about the primarily the investigations. The big concern is that a lot of these investigations we've seen in the past, they go on and on and on. And then four or five months later, something in the back page, investigation complete, and then no action. Not saying that here, but that was just a concern based on the past. So that's why we were very clear. Can you give us some parameters when we can expect uh, a conclusion? So the time frame, the, the, uh, the officer's name, um, you know, obviously, I, I, as you said, I can't discuss what we would do because we're, the commissioner makes that decision solely. What I present to him, our process is, is I present him an investigation. And he is the appointing authority. He gets to decide punishment or not. Community wants to know if the officer is still on the job and if he is still being paid. Uh, the commissioner has said he is on administrative duties, which means, yes, he's still being paid. Yes, he's on the job, but he's not working administrative duties. He's not working the road. He's not out on patrol. Of course not. Yeah. Reverend Eagle had asked about, or yes. raised the point about the mental state of the officer. Can you confirm that there's a thorough health assessment being done of that officer as part of the investigation? I, I can't discuss the investigation, but it does include um, the officer's uh, a chance to be heard, or he gets to make the statement plus uh, a, a, an assessment. But I, I can't discuss that. When it comes public, you'll be able to see what we've done. Thank you very much. Okay. 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 It's been three weeks since the beating of Marley and Penny. We want to know one thing. What has the CHP done in that period of time since they promised the swift investigation? What have they done? And also, what's going to be the result of that investigation at the end? We also wanted something else, too. We also filed a California Public Records Act petition to the California Highway Patrol asking for the identification of the officer that beat Marlene Kennedy. The response from the California Highway Patrol came back immediately. They will not release the name of the officer because of issues of public safety. In other words, physical threats that they say the officer has gotten and the California Highway Patrol has gotten. So no identification at this point in time. However, we're still going to press for that simply because we want to know more about this officer. We want to know about whether there are abuses, whether there are complaints or misconduct. We also want to know, is there a pattern in practice? Was this an aberration of the beating of Marlene Pennant by one officer, or is there something deeper that we need to know and the community needs to know? So even though we got a denial on our request for the California, from the California Public Records Act or under that, we're still going to press ahead. We're going to refile again. We're going to repetition again. We're going to continue to press the California Highway Patrol to do exactly what they promised us time and time again. Transparency and accountability and swiftness with their investigation and we want to see something else. Once the determination is made because the community feels this was blatant, aggressive overuse of uh, force against a defenseless woman that it complied, that there has to be an adequate punishment of the officer. At this point, we do understand due process. We are not happy. We are not happy with the prologue of this investigation. So we're asking that this officer be removed immediately. And we're asking that the DA department, Jackie Lacey, to file charges 
against this officer immediately. This has gone on too long. We've waited three weeks, and three weeks we have nothing to show thus far. So we at National Action Network, we stand here today to demand this officer be fired immediately. Do they have a green light to make a person come into compliance, or do they have a green light to give punishment for a person to come into compliance? In other words, if I'm straddling a person and I'm beating them and beating them and beating them with my fist, what am I actually saying? Am I saying come into compliance, or am I saying don't you know who I am? Do you know I'm a law enforcement officer? The next time I tell you to do something, you ought to do it. So this is the question that's raised and we're still looking for answers. We felt this was a brutal attack. This was an unjustified use of excessive force, and we're not going to back away from that. That's still our, that's still our contention, and, and frankly, that's still the contention of the community. Okay, thank you very much.